guys, what's up? Lugia XC2000 here, back with another video for you guys. And in this video, I'm going to be doing an unboxing of the new Ben 10 Reboot Accelerate figure. So stay tuned for another Ben 10 toy review. If you guys haven't seen it already, I did an unboxing and review for the new Reboot Cannon Bolt figure. If you guys would like to go check out that video, the link will be in the description below, or you can click at the eye at the top right hand corner. So with that being said, let's get started. So now Accelerate, look at the packaging. It's the same packaging for all the other basic figures. I love it. It's really cool because you have all these different colors. You have the yellow, the blue, and the green. And I really like the shape that they have going on here with the circles. Besides that, we have our Accelerate figure. He is inside of the plastic bubble packaging. We have a picture of him with the the bottom left hand corner with his name and the top left hand corner we have the Ben 10 logo and we have a picture of Ben Tennyson and on the back of course we have that same synopsis that's on all the other packages about the show and how Ben Tennyson gets the Omnitrix and, and also all the other toys so far we've reviewed cannon bolts and now we're doing accelerate and the other figures we'll be doing real soon accelerate the fastest alien of them all accelerating get it excel or you, you get the point accelerating at crazy high speeds of 500 plus miles an hour this alien can react in seconds to save the day his attacks are extremely effective and his high speed travel is almost as fast as his thoughts that's really cool actually a really cool description i love that all right cool so here is Accelerate out of the packaging. It looks really cool, especially with all these accessories he has. The original Accelerate figure, I don't remember ever getting accessories with that guy. Uh, unless you got the battle version of Accelerate, because the battle version of him came with a stand and a card. This one comes with some traffic cones, and it looks like some speed smoke that have these wheels on the bottom, so you can roll it on the table or any other flat surface. We're just gonna plop these on here, so you can just push them around. Yeah. This thing doesn't really have any wind-up features or anything. If you guys remember kind of some of those old Happy Meal toys, a lot of their gimmicks, like you would pull it back and then it would start going forward. I feel like that would have been a really cool touch if they were to do that for this. But it's really cool because we didn't get anything like that for the original Accelerate figure. The original figure, you just had his legs and stuff. You can pretend he's running around, but that kind of looks weird. So that's kind of cool how they have this thing. You can make him look like he's running. Woo! Hello darkness, my old friend. So here's a little side-by-side -side comparison of the original Accelerate and the new one from the Reboot series. Uh, and as you guys can see, the Reboot series Accelerate looks like he's shorter, but that's just because of the pose that he's in, the way he's sculpted. He's kind of sculpted, kind of like leaning forward. But from the profile view, this one, if you were to stretch it out, is a lot bigger, especially his head. His head is at least maybe like two times bigger than the original one. Looking at the Omnitrix symbols, so the original Omnitrix symbol had gray parts on the outside of the hourglass shape, whereas this one has black color on the outside of the hourglass shape, so that's a little bit different. The tail from the original figure, it has a lot more stripes than the new one. His legs are pretty much the same, his arms are pretty much the same. The chest piece is actually blue now instead of white, which actually makes sense. I didn't, I don't know why it was white for this one. That's why I really like how they made it all blue. The original Accelerate also comes with a mask that you can put on and off of the figure, but the new one, however, doesn't have a mask like that, which is is very understandable because a lot of the kids lost the mask. Most of the time in the show, I know that Accelerate doesn't even have his mask down. It's only when he like runs really fast. I'm actually not even sure if he has a mask in the new series or not. If he does, let me know in the comments below if he has a mask or not. But as far as that goes, we don't get a mask with this figure. Also from the side, we can see that this Accelerate figure has fins on his back, whereas this one doesn't. So there's a lot of like minor differences between the two figures. However, the majority of it, the design wise, Accelerate has pretty much stayed the same since the original series. In terms of articulation, this Accelerate, his arms could go 360, his head could go 360, his tail could go 360, his legs could go forward, backwards, and you have a knee joint. There's a lot more articulation in the new Accelerate figure. So starting off with the legs here, Accelerate's legs can rotate 360 degrees. They can also go up and they can also go down, forward, backwards. There's a lot of articulation in here. You can basically move it all around 360. So that's pretty cool. His arms can rotate 360 degrees as well. They can go up and down and they go forward, backwards. And there is actually elbow rotation. So unlike the original figure, you actually get some rotation in the elbows as well as in the hands. His hands can rotate 360 degrees. 
which is really cool. I really love all the articulation in this figure. And Accelerate's tail, of course, can rotate 360 degrees, but seeing as Playmates puts in a lot of articulation in other parts of the body, it would have been cool to see some joints in the tail so you can kind of pose the tail a little bit. Accelerate's head can rotate 360 degrees, and it could also go forward and backwards because it is on a ball joint. You can plop it off and plop it back on. Another thing I noticed, at least with my Accelerate figure, I don't know if anyone else has the same issue with theirs. I'm not sure how well it's gonna pick it up on camera, but there's like a white line here on the side of my Accelerate figure. It also looks like his head got kind of destroyed a little bit at the tip. It almost looks like someone took a knife and kind of scraped the top of the head. This is really bad quality control in my opinion. I don't know what happened here. Even on the, the Bandai figure, the quality was so much better. And this one, they sculpted the body pretty good. They got that right, but the head they didn't really care so much about. But yeah, let me know if your figure has a really messed up paint job like mine or if it's warped at the top like this. I'm not so happy with this guy. But yeah, so that's unfortunate. But other than that, it's pretty cool. So here's a little 360 look around the new Accelerate figure. And I am just gonna say it right now, I am a sucker for blue. Blue is my favorite color for all of you guys that wanna know. And I just love Accelerate the most. He is one of my favorite characters from the original Ben 10 series. And he's probably one of my the favorite figures from the the reboot series, and just because of the color alone. The one thing I don't really get though, I mean, I love I love the shapes of the fins. Don't get me wrong, but I don't think it really suits the accelerate at all, really. And with the fins, it kind of reminds me of like a shark fin. I don't know if they made him part shark or not in the new series. Let me know if he is. I doubt it though. That's pretty much it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you like this video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. And also, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Go check out some of my other videos. And most importantly, have a great day.